The Cleveland Cavaliers and the Boston Celtics have agreed to a trade that sends Kyrie Irving to the Celtics in exchange for Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Ante Zizic, and the Brooklyn Nets 2018 first round pick, adding to the hectic offseason the NBA has had this year. This actually changes a lot for the Cavs, who were 51 and 31 last season. Cavs lost a great point guard in Kyrie Irving while actually adding another respectable point guard with Isaiah Thomas. Last season, Kyrie averaged 25 points per game, while Thomas averaged just a shade under 29. While Thomas did average a bit more, he was the clear go-to guy on his team, so expect that to drop a bit with the Cavs while he plays under LeBron James. The Cavs also got a lot in this trade. Their bench improved with Jay Crowder, and they still have an elite point guard, and they got what they wanted in future assurance, even though they were seeking Jason Tatum. Yeah, I certainly agree with your uh, point about the bench improvement because last year the Cavs actually ranked 28th in bench points per game behind teams like the Sixers and Nets. You know, the the Cavs will certainly improve with Jay Crowder coming in. He averaged 13.9 points per game last year. Not only does this improve their bench points per game, it also improves the Cavs defense and Jay Crowder will allow LeBron to rest more as LeBron clocked in 37.8 minutes per game during the regular season and this actually increased to 41.3 in the playoffs. Crowder will give the Cavs some quality minutes while allowing you know, LeBron to get the rest he actually needs. And with Kyrie outside the locker room, they don't have that problem, prob problem inside there anymore, which puts themselves in a position to compete for a championship now and in a great position for their future with Brooklyn Nets first round pick, which could actually end up being Marvin Bagley, who reclassified to 2017 just a week ago, or Michael Porter Jr., but that's just, we can talk about that later. Yeah, for sure. So, like, with the Celtics, they did give up a lot to get Kyrie in this, but this shows they're ready to win now. You know, they want to win now. You know, trading their uh, the future pick and Crowder doesn't really affect them because they've already, they're already loaded with uh, young talent. You know, they got Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum at, at those positions. You know, they got small forward, so they don't really need Jay Crowder there. You know, Danny Ainge is a smart man. You know, he played around with all those picks he had, and, you know, the way he's piecing up this team, he's, you know, I think the Celtics are ready to make another good run at a possible no, championship. No, he, he actually is, like, he's doing, like, perfect because now that they have their young pieces, he has Kyrie now, and even if Kyrie leaves, the Celtics still have, like, like I said before, the assurance that their future is bright with all their young talent. Kyrie gives them a stronger and better Isaiah Thomas, and now that he isn't playing beneath LeBron, his potential will actually like be unleashed. Yeah, I agree with you that like he he is taking a risk there with Kyrie. Like you know, Kyrie has two years left on his contract and could potentially yeah. leave if things don't work yeah, out. But you know, other than that, I'm actually excited for the future of the Celtics and the direction they're headed in right they now. They actually might be Cleveland now. In the, in the right, it's it's a possibility. Yeah. With LeBron, bro. But you never know with yeah, LeBron. Yeah, LeBron. That's true. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. You know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and uh, comment on your thoughts of the situation and see how we can get better actually as uh since we just started youtube see how we can get better yeah well thank you